In this video, I'm going to cover SAT math problems that deal with solving equations that contain radicals. And remember to watch to the end so you can see all seven examples. Let's take a look. So this problem says if x is greater than 0, which of the following is equivalent to the given expression? Alright, so remember when we have a square root, we want to find things that are squared. So 16 can be written as 4 squared. And then we have our x squared. So anything squared comes outside the radical as a single one of those. So 4 comes out, and the x comes out, and there's nothing left underneath the radical. So the answer is just 4x. So answer A. And this SAT problem says, which expression is equivalent to the third root of 27x to the fourth? Now, okay, my answer choice is they want the x to some power. So I know 27 is equal to 3 to the third power. So if I take the third root of 3 to the third power, that's just going to be 3. Now if I got the third root of x to the fourth, I can rewrite that as a fraction in the exponent, but x will be 4 on top and our root on bottom, so 3. So it's going to be 3x to the 4 thirds power. So that's going to be answer choice B. So in this SAT problem it says if the square root of x plus the square root of 16 equals the square root of 81, what is the value of x? Now when we have a square root of a number, we can just evaluate that. So we have square root of x, square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Square root of 81. 9 times 9 is 81, so 9. Now I can get the square root by itself by subtracting 4 from both sides. That gives me 5 on the right side. Now when we deal with the radical, we need to do the opposite. So taking the square root, taking the opposite would be squaring it. That's going to get rid of the square root sign. These are just x. And 5 squared will give us 25. So answer choice C is the correct answer. All right, in this SAT problem, we have the square root of x minus 2 equals 4. Which of the following is the solution to the equation above? All right, for this one, we're going to get the, the radical by itself. So I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Get the square root of x equals 6. Again, we need to get rid of the square root sign, so we got to square both sides. This is x, and 6 times 6 is 36. So answer choice, C. In this SAT problem, it says the square root of 9x equals x minus 4. And what are all the values of x that satisfy the given equation? So this one, we need to get this equation into a single x value. So I'm going to square both sides. It's going to be 9x on the left. If I foil the right side, it's going to be x squared, x times x, and then negative 4x, another negative 4x for negative 8x, and negative 4 times negative 4 to give me positive 16. Now when I was trying to solve an equation, as x squared is going to be a quadratic, I need to get everything to one side and a zero on the other side. So I'm going to subtract 9x from both sides. I'll get 0 equals x squared minus 17x plus 16. And I'm going to factor it. Get x here. So I need two numbers and multiply to give me 16. Add up to negative 17. So that's going to be 1 and 16, both negative, so it adds up to negative 17. And then set each of these equal to 0. So x equals 1, x equals 16. Now with square roots, it gets a little tricky, so you have to actually uh, make sure your answers actually work in the original equation. Alright, so if I do 
square root of 9 times 1 equals 1 minus 4. Square root of 9 is 3. 1 minus 4 is negative 3. So that does not work out. So 1 does not work. Now if I try 16, square root of 9 times 16 equals 16 minus 4. 9 times 16 is 144. 16 minus 4 is 12. Square root of 144 is 12. So 12 equals 12, so that works out. So the only one that works here is 16, so 2 only or answer B. So in this SAT problem it says, what is the set of all the solutions to the equation square root of x plus 6 equals negative x? So again, you need to get the square root by itself. So I'm going to square both sides. So it gives me x plus 6 x squared. Again, I have a quadratic, so I need to get everything the same side. So it's going to be minus x and minus 6. And then factor it. It's going to be x. It's going to be 3 and 2 to give me 6. I need to add to negative 1, so negative 3 plus 2. So again, set these equal to 0. We get x equals negative 2, x equals 3. Now to be sure, we need to try these out in the equation. So negative 2 plus 6 equal to negative negative 2. So the square root of 4 equal positive 2. The square root of 4 is 2. So 2 equals 2, that's correct. Now we try 3. So the square root of 3 plus 6 equal to negative 3. The square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3. But we have two different answers, 3 equals negative 3. That is not true, so that does not work out. So only negative 2 works, so answer choice B. All right, in this SAT problem, we have the square root of x plus 14 minus 2 times the square root of x plus 2 equals 0. What is the solution set of the equation above? So in this case, now I don't want to foil this left side, so I'm going to get uh, move the 2 square root of x plus 2 to the other side. So I have square root of x plus 14 equals 2 square root of x plus 2. Okay, now I can square both sides. That gives me x plus 14. Now over here I need to square the 2 along with the square root of x plus 2, so 2 times 2 is 4, and then x plus 2, so squaring it just gets rid of the radical, so x plus 14, and then, and then distribute 4x plus 8, remember to distribute to both terms, inside the parentheses, I'll get the x's together, so I'm going to subtract x from both sides, I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, it gives me 6 equal to 3x divided by 3. Get x is equal to 2. So in this one, I don't need to check the answer because there's no choice saying there's no answer. So the answer, so the final answer is going to be x equals 2. So answer choice B. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you learned something about solving equations with radicals. And you can support this channel by liking this video and subscribing. That would be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to check out our other videos involving SAT math. Thanks.